This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ for your free trial membership. Hey guys, welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews from Revision 3. I'm Graham. I'm Mauricio. And we're here to talk a little bit about the new Apple TV and the remote app from Apple. That's right, with all these gadgets here on the table. Um, yeah, so so the remote app, it's, it's an application that's been out for a while. It's kind of a yeah. note, uh, you gotta get it. We haven't reviewed it. It was one of the very first apps that Apple put out, actually like the day after the 2.0 update for right. the iPhone came out, right. that remote app was released. So. Yeah. Most of you have probably used it already, mm -hmm. but it just got some really great updates because of this new device. This guy, which is not <laughs> opened right now because it's for another show. We're gonna use it uh, a little bit later, yeah. Um, yeah, so so the update is, you know, obviously it's got the, the Retina Display update on mm -hmm. there, but it's got some other interesting things, uh, primarily the way you connect to devices. Right. Um, it used to be, and, and still is, where you connect by entering that four digit code and, yes. and you only connect to that one device. But it's got the um, the uh, the home sharing factor now, right. where you can come in um, if you're on the same Wi-Fi as as uh, this iTunes uh, playlist. You can actually request a song, which is actually a really cool concept. Yeah. And there's there's stories of of uh, bars, you know, putting their entire digital jukebox on iTunes mm -hmm. and letting patrons come in and, and anyone who comes a song. in can pick the songs and yeah. sort of direct the flow of the music, exactly. which I think exactly. is kind of cool. Putting the power of what songs are going to get played to right. the people that are actually there. Right. So let's demonstrate a little bit. Yeah, we got yeah. our, our laptop here. I'm connected to it with the Apple Remote app. Um, I'm connected through home sharing this time. So just start playing a song. Pretty cool. Oh, it's that one band that we <laughs> we've never heard. Shouldn't name. You can keep skipping songs. So yeah, that's just a quick demonstration of how quickly it works. You can adjust the volume. Mm -hmm. You can see the slider moving on the computer and on the phone. Yeah. Your artwork shows up on not only the computer, but also on the phone itself. Right. So that's great to keep, keep track of what you're listening to. But here's another thing. On the iPhone and iPad version, you can launch movies from the remote app. You can just launch, and it shows up full screen. Right on the actual. Now this is obviously going to come in handy when you're using your Apple TV. This is your your remote, is that correct? Yes, you can okay. pause, you can fast forward or play, cool. you can seek. This is the next trailer I have loaded up, so. Yeah. So instead of using the the Apple TV remote that comes with the Apple TV or, or $30 the one. <laughs> extra at the Apple store, um, you can use your phone, which is which right. is great. You know, we talked about this before where the, the opportunity with, with touch devices like the iPad and, and the iPhone where it can become an extension of existing devices mm -hmm. just because it's, it's a blank slate. You can do whatever you want on here, like a remote, a universal remote yeah. or an Apple TV remote. So It's pretty interesting how all of these devices can now sort of play nice with each other. Yeah. Um, and you don't, it's definitely more expensive than the Apple remote, the $23 or the $20 Apple remote. Well, the phone, but, I mean, the phone itself, of course, yeah. But, but if you already have one, yeah, why not? Yeah, the application is free, so mm -hmm. it's not that big a deal. So that's all for the iPhone version of the remote app. When we come back, Mal's going to tell us about the iPad version. So first, let's thank our sponsor, Netflix. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. As a Netflix member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV via Netflix ready device like the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the Nintendo Wii console. As a new member and an App Judgment viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Just go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. Um, the iPad also got an update. Um, actually got the actual remote for the first time, which is great. It's got a few more. Um, it's basically the same interface, much bigger, obviously. Um, well, obviously, when you open it, it looks a lot like your existing iTunes library. So, um, you know, plenty of more real estate on the iPad to, right. to create a cool interface. The primary difference is Genius Playlist. Um, you can actually create a Genius Playlist from the iPad which is kind of cool. You can save it, um, rename it, everything that you would, you would normally do directly on the computer. The one thing you can't do, which, which you've never been able to do, but you can't stream it back to your devices. You right. can't, that's, it's such a please, please, please <laughs> Apple do that kind of concept. Um, we've, we've reviewed simplified media in the, in, in the past mm -hmm. where you can stream music. You can control your library from your phone and actually stream music to your phone your, or your, your, right. your Apple device. Um, 
I got excited because of the home sharing thing. If you have an Apple laptop and another computer that you keep all your music on, you can mm -hmm. stream your music to your laptop. Right. So when they said that this app supported home sharing, I was yeah. like, great, Whoa. I can actually play music yeah. on my phone now, yeah. streaming from my other computer. Uh, but that's not the case. It's actually just sort of lets you, it's another way of connecting to your library on that other computer. Right. Right. Uh, one thing we didn't mention was that if you do have an Apple TV and you connect the remote app to it, you can use the the gestures, yeah. touch multi-touch gestures on the iPad mm -hmm. or the iPhone or an iPod Touch to control the menus of the Apple TV. We are now in the matrix, not the matrix, we're now in the minority report. I got my, yeah. my movies mixed up. So minority that's the great report. thing about the iPad is you totally feel like you're manipulating yeah. the menus yeah. on that stuff. So yeah, I feel like it's a, a substantial update to an app that has been uh, out since apps were available yeah. on the iPhone. So it's great to see that. And, uh, and it's still free. Yeah, it's free and it's still a lot of fun to use. Mm -hmm. so. Thanks for watching. Join us next time on App Judgment. Until then, you can find us on our pages on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and on our homepage at appjudgment.com. We'll see ya. Hey. Get it on there. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for the break. I know. <laughs> I should have started it later. Should do actually start it on the course. <laughs>